Hi, welcome to FYI with Rowena. I have a very interesting guest. Um, her name is Mary Perry. She's been a lawyer for the past 16 years in Nevada. And she's also an advocate in the community and she does a lot of community services. So I am really happy that you can be here today, Mary. Thank How you are you? I am doing great. You know what? I see you everywhere. I see you doing a lot of stuff in the community yes. and I just love uh, what you do. And you do a lot of pro bono stuff too. Now, let me just ask you, who is Mary Perry? Well, I'm the small town girl who spent eight and a half years in the Air Force. When I got out, I moved here, wow. started my education you know, after I'd gotten out of the military. And when thank I got you for your service, by the way. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. And once you know, once I graduated, I couldn't really find a job, so I decided, hey, why not law school? And they just started the Boyd School of Law. I was in their charter class. That's Sixteen years after graduating, here I am. And so, I, you're you're originally from where? I'm originally from Arkansas. Okay. I I just love you. I I love how you Thank are you. with everybody. You're very kind. You help people yes. whenever they need. And um, I just want to ask you a few things about the legal okay. system. What current changes in the family law arena that make things better or worse? You know, what makes it better right now is that they have finally codified the fact that the mother and father have equal rights to that child. The court must start at them having joint physical custody. And then if there's other extenuating circumstances, one parent or the other can get primary or sole. But it starts at joint physical custody. Okay, so, uh, but sometimes though, when you get uh, a judge mm -hmm. that is uh, biased to women or men, correct. That, that's hard. So it's very important to find a lawyer that can fight for you. That is correct. Like you do, because I know you're a ball buster. I try to be. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be in the courtroom. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> what changes are worse? You know, the big change that makes it worse, and it's mainly for the attorneys, is how they're gonna start dealing with military law. Mm -hmm. because it didn't take it and say, okay, from this point forward, this is how it's going to be. They actually went some time back, you know, for cases that's already been done and is making the changes from that point forward. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard and very confusing for the attorneys to truly understand how it needs to be done. And it's pretty much just military law. Mm -hmm. and, and so um, uh, you do a lot of community service. I know that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I see you everywhere. So what, what are the community service that you're doing Well, right one, of the, one of the big things that I do is my pro bono work. Yes. Anywhere mm -hmm. from 30 to 60% of all of my cases is pro bono at all times. That's fantastic. I can't turn down a good case when a, when a client needs quality mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. You know, if they don't have the money, fine. They don't have mm -hmm. the money. I'll take the mm -hmm. case on most mm -hmm. of the time. And then so I, it's not all about. I know that it's not all about the money no, with you. It's, it's about not. helping your your clients. Yes. It's yeah. about helping. Mm -hmm. It's help. It's helping the people. Mm -hmm. They need it. You know, I was mm -hmm. lucky enough to make it through law school. And yeah, I'm still paying my student loans, but I'm still able to do it. Mm -hmm. So I've got to give back to the people that can't be as fortunate as I am. And I've just started being a, in the truancy deficient or deferment program. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is we're taking children at all different ages, but I am in the middle school and I'm trying to help them learn how to set goals so that they can start working towards what they want instead of going the other way and getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. they, they, usually these kids have missed, you know, six, seven, eight days already. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, coming up on possibly getting suspended or losing grades. A lot of them has Fs because they've missed so many days of school. So I'm trying to help them learn how to set those goals and work towards it to bring their grades up and start focusing on what they really want to do in the future. Mary, that's fantastic. It's fun. I like it. I mean, especially here in Las Vegas, Correct. most parents are working 24 seven and hardly uh, a parental guidance. So mm -hmm. be, we need people, more people yes. like you that do these kinds of work. They yeah. need help. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, I think I heard there's only 45 schools that has a truancy judge right now. Mm -hmm. So they really need more people that's willing to reach out and help these children become, uh, you know, members of society that Better, everyone yeah. can look up to. Yes, I agree. I completely yeah. agree with you. Now, well, I know you mentioned earlier, but why? Uh, tell me again, why, why did you go into family law pra practice? <laughs> they need people who can empathize with them. 
you've got some of the best people right now going through their worst time of their life. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's stressful, it's mm -hmm. hurtful. And you can have two parents that hate each other. But the second the judge tells them they're divorced, mm -hmm. there's usually tears in both of their eyes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's really a hard time for them to go mm -hmm. through. And, and if I have any way of fixing it, you know, maybe making them say, you know, your marriage really isn't that bad. You need to give it another try. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had cases that's right up to the last minute, and the parties have decided to get back together. Mm -hmm. To me, that is great. That and adoptions. Mm -hmm. You know, adoptions is great. So, mm -hmm. so know. I mean, especially with what's ha what's what just happened here in Las Vegas. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I've lived here since 93, so it's like I've, I've been here long term enough to say that I am from Las Vegas now. Mm -hmm. This is my community, and I really have a hard time knowing that we've got attorneys coming from out of state who don't have any interest in this state yes. other than the money that they're mm -hmm. going to be making off of mm -hmm. this. I have done personal injury, so yes, I will be taking on cases mm -hmm. from what happened on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can keep the money here in the community and not in the hands and of out-of-state exactly. attorneys. Exactly, and for someone that knows this community yes. and, and, and so knows the law here. We should be their first here. choice because we understand the needs of our citizens here more than any out-of-state attorney can I understand. I completely, completely agree with you. Now. I know that you've run for, for office in yes, the past. What is in the future for Mary Perry? I have every intention of running for judge in 2020, for family court judge. I'm going to do, I'm going to try that one again. Mm -hmm. We need people like you. Thank you. Because there's a lot of judges there that are not supposed to be sitting judges and we need more people like you. Thank now, you. For, for the viewers out there, if they want to get a hold of you, where can, where can they call you, or what number can they call you? Well, they can call me at 702-384-9911, and I have a website. It is called askmaryperry.com. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank it's you. been such a pleasure, and I love your work. I appreciate it. It's been it, such Mom. a pleasure. Thank you.